Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be de-influencing you and I would like for you to do the same. I want this to be a collective effort so please leave in the comments anything that you're skipping, not purchasing this year, especially things that are trending or popular. Also if you want to include your regrets because I'll be talking about some purchase regrets in this video. I have a list here on my phone. Let's get started. The first item that I'll be skipping is Bagu bags. I shockingly don't even own one, which I'm surprised because I think they're pretty cute, but I think what has kept me away from them is the price and also just, I don't know, it's a thing where like I keep seeing it and then it makes me not want it anymore. In my opinion, Bagu bags are the cool girl equivalent to the Stanley Cup girlies. <laughs> what I mean by that, they both give like cultish sort of vibes. Both items started as more of like a sustainable effort. So for instance, like the Stanley Cup, you're only supposed to have one and use that obviously for everything as well as the bagu bag you know they're sustainably made it was the type of thing where it was supposed to, you were only supposed to own one or maybe a couple but people have like 10 20 30 bagu bags and i think that's excessive they're also doing drops all of the time which i'm not gonna lie some of the drops are pretty cute and it's been tempting but i just have enough tote bags already and i don't feel like i need to add more really and if i were to get a bagu bag which i think ultimately i'm not it would probably just be like a plain black one to match with everything i know we're talking about decreasing consumption but a good alternative for that would be the uniqlo version of the crescent bag that my partner has that's like his main bag and he wears it a ton and i'm pretty sure it was only like 22 bucks or something like that if you're looking for something similar and it's something that you know that you'll use every single day and you're not going to be buying it in every color i think it's fair the next item are the lisa says ga pointy flats with the grommets on them i'm not sure where these came from or who the original designer is but i've seen a ton of dupes like i've seen steve madden version like i said the lisa says ga i don't know if there are the originals but they have like an original price. I think the ones from them are like $300. Something I wanted to touch on that might help you consume less is just being conscious of when things just come out of nowhere or they blow up. That usually is an indication of a micro trend or something that is going to be popular for a couple months and then die out pretty quickly. And I feel like this specific shoe is one of those items. Not to mention, I don't think they're cute personally. Something about them being flat and also that like pointy shape is not satisfying to my eye personally. I've also heard that they're super uncomfortable. So do with that what you will. That's one that I'll be skipping on for sure. The next item on my list are Sambas. I know you guys are probably sick of hearing about Sambas, but I just wanted to reiterate that just because something's trending doesn't mean you have to participate in it. I know it's tempting. Sometimes I feel like, man, if I'm not participating in the la latest trends, like I'm not fashionable, maybe getting the trendy shoe will make me look cooler or get me more engagement, whatever it may be, you know? But I'm actually proud of myself for not engaging in this trend. On that note, I actually have realized that I don't think, at least in this phase of my life, I am a big sneaker person i have three vans three pairs of vans laying around that i don't think i've touched in a long time like months also do shame me in the comments it'll keep me from repeating this behavior <laughs> i bought these reeboks like a year ago these were super popular these were like the it shoe for a little bit at least in like the kind of more alternative thrifted style community i would say and these are just like the vintage looking Reeboks. I bought these because I really wanted a, a sneaker and I wanted a vintage inspired one. So I thought, ooh, those are for me. Literally, I don't know why I can't style these. Like I feel like everything I wear with them just looks off to me. Maybe I'm not a white shoe person. Maybe that's what it is. Still trying to figure it out. But I, I regret buying these. You can see they're literally brand new i think i wore them one time not to mention they are super uncomfortable so that might be part of it as well the corner of the shoe like kills my foot anyway regret getting these i will probably sell them soon the next thing on my list is not buying merch just because you want to remember that you were there at the event i had a huge problem with this for years and only in the last like <laughs> Three years has it gotten better. So what I mean by that is like every time I would go to a show or concert, I would want to get merch from the band or bands that I was watching because I wanted to just like have something to remember the event by. But a lot of the time the merch, no offense, but the merch is not cute. 
like i saw the strokes two years ago i believe and the only merch that they had were like the typical with the blue lettering which i already had that and then they had another version where it was like the strokes but like in rainbow print that's definitely not my style at all you will never catch me wearing anything rainbow but that's one example of me forcing it just because i wanted to have something of that day when if you think about it i'm sure you're filming taking pictures so you will not forget the day i promise you try to only buy merch that you think you'll wear and that you really like especially because it's not cheap you're already spending money on the tickets on the food whatever like transportation and then on top of that like hundreds of dollars of merch that you're not gonna wear sucks i don't want you to look back and regret that like me next thing on my list is designer costume jewelry but specifically any vivian westwood jewelry i think it is a crime that they price their jewelry at those high prices and then they're like really shitty quality they tarnish i just don't think it's worth it honestly i think designers need to get their shit together and have the quality match the price I also noticed Sandy Liang does this as well with a lot of their very expensive jewelry. It's just like plastic and I don't know. I'm not okay with that. So I won't be investing in that jewelry. The next thing I won't be investing in is expensive headphones. For instance, like the AirPod Maxes that are like $600, $800. I think it is ridiculous for a pair of headphones. I, I don't really see the point. I just wanted to show you guys my everyday headphones. These have noise canceling, Bluetooth. Literally, they last hours and hours and hours. I charge them every like three to four days and they're great. They're super cute too. If you wanted to be extra, you could personalize these, put some bows on them, some stickers or whatever. Personally, I just like to keep them plain. I'll link these down below if you're interested. I believe these were like $45. I got them at the airport. Love them, they are my babies. The next thing I will be passing on is anything Skims. I honestly don't really like supporting celebrity brands whatsoever. I think it's pretty yucky for the most part. Also the stuff that they have on their website is just not my style at all. I know like that one, just like maxi black dress is super popular. Honestly, it doesn't look like the best quality. It looks pretty thin to me, although I haven't felt it in person, but I swear I've heard some ramblings about it on TikTok that it's not the best quality, especially for the price. I believe it's like $80 or something. I definitely do not want to be any part of supporting the Kardashians in any way, shape or form. So I will be passing on skims. The next thing I won't be purchasing is designer tote bags, especially like the Marc Jacob ones. That is hideous. I am so sorry. It's definitely overplayed not to mention like the emily mariko tote bag that is so basic and so plain and how much is it again like 150 or something ridiculous like that i definitely think we don't need more than a couple tote bags if you want to invest in a bag i say go with one that's like made out of leather or something like that or has some like a personal touch to it my favorite thing is buying totes while i'm traveling or from like a cool coffee shop, bookstore, you know. Like for example, my favorite tote bag I got at a sick record shop in Portland. Look how sick this print is. It's the perfect size. Way more like personal in my opinion. The next one I'll be skipping is sheer clothing and more specifically overall sheer clothing. So like the whole piece is sheer rather than a couple of maybe like the arms are sheer. I messed up. I'll show you. I thrifted this completely sheer top button up. Mind you, it's really cute, but I haven't worn it. I, I don't know why I'm struggling to wear it. Maybe because it's winter or something, but Look how pretty it is. It has little flowers. Really cute. It's just, I don't wear it. So I've made a rule for myself that I cannot buy any more sheer things. An example of a sheer piece that I will allow myself to buy, well, probably not because I. this is all I need, but things with sheer elements. So, you know, everything is covered. It has layers, but then the arms are sheer. So something like that is more my style. And I've been wearing this top a ton, so... That is why it is important to keep in mind your lifestyle. You know, like if you're not a person who likes to have your bits out all the time, sheer is probably not for you. The next thing on my list is don't buy new Doc Martens. It's not worth it. Exclamation point, exclamation point. So my suggestion to you would be to buy them secondhand and specifically gently warm. 
especially with shoes you don't want something that is super duper kind of like beat up used up because it has already molded to somebody else's foot and i think it's not going to be as comfortable look for gently used or in the description like only worn a couple times or broken in a little bit you know not like I've had these for 10 years type of deal. And the reason why I say do not buy new Doc Martens is because they hurt. They hurt so bad. I don't think a shoe should be hurting your feet that much, especially a shoe that expensive. I think it's ridiculous. For instance, my favorite Doc Martens are ones that I've gotten used. I have these here, which like shockingly enough, my mom thrifted these for me at Goodwill. They're like the made, made in England OG ones. So comfortable. Pretty beat up. I don't care though. Kind of fits with my style. Doesn't bother me when things are a little scraped up or beat up. But luckily, those weren't like super molded into someone's foot, so they're super comfy on me. Just a suggestion if you're looking to invest into Doc Martens, I think it's good to just pick them up secondhand if possible. The next item I won't be purchasing is a puffy headband for when you do your makeup or skincare. I'm so sorry, but they are so ugly. And I've thought this from the very first time I ever laid my eyes on one. And I know they provide function, that's fine, I get it. I don't think you need them in three colors though. I think one and done. But also, do you really need that headband? No, the answer is no. You can put a, your hair up in a clip, you could put it in a ponytail. I'm sure you have some sort of like other sports headband laying around that you can just chuck on. The last two aren't fashion related, but they are more like kind of personal accessories or skincare. Just, I don't know what I'm saying. Basically, all I'm trying to say is I will not be purchasing more than two perfumes at a time. It is impossible to get through a bunch of perfumes before they expire. And just an added bonus, there's something so cool about having your own scent that people recognize. For example, I know it's super boring, but I am a vanilla notes girly till I die. I just sits well with my skin. I feel like it gives me a very like warm, inviting essence. I'll show you guys the perfume that I'm using right now. And actually, I only own one perfume right now. Here it is. It's the Burberry Goddess perfume. I hope you could see that. Highly recommend if you're a warm vanilla girly. Forgot to put some on. Wanna smell good for you guys? And lastly, I will not be purchasing excessive skincare. The next thing that people are saying will clear your skin, take away your eye circles, give you a facelift, whatever. Um, I will not be investing in that. I think there's something beneficial about having perhaps like a four step routine or more of a simplistic routine. You don't need like five eye creams. They all do the same thing. You don't need five face washes, sunscreens, anything like that. I would say my skincare is six steps, but they're all necessary. It's not a bunch of products that do the same thing. Each product does something different. I'm satisfied and it works for me. And I recommend the same for you as well. Find what works, stick to it. But messing with all sorts of different products, I swear it does more harm than good, at least in my experience in the past. Oh, sorry. I'm just thinking of more things as I'm talking. I hope you don't mind. So the other thing would be makeup, buying a bunch of things of the same thing. Like for instance, one brand of lip gloss and like all the colors that they have or eyeshadow palettes and things like that. Literally, I have one concealer, one mascara, I have a couple eyeliners, but that's because they serve different purposes. Obviously, unless you're like a makeup artist or it's your job, like different story but if you're just like a regular schmegular person like me you know i don't think you need one of each all right that is the end of my list i hope that you guys enjoyed this video took away something from it something helpful maybe save a little bit of money let me know if you agree or disagree with anything on this list add to this list in the comments so we could just de-influence each other have a little conversation thank you for watching subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more of this face I hope you guys have a lovely week. Bye.